Morning everyone. Um, today we're going to be talking about a very, very interesting species, an endemic species, and one, so that means we only find it here on our coast, which means all the responsibility is up to us to protect it, to look after it, everything we like catch. We're talking about the Cape Snook. Now, Thrycetes aten, you can pronounce it how you want, that's how I do it. Um, the Cape Snook, not to be confused for you, for the KZN guys with our, our Snook here, which is the Natal Snook completely different setup. Your Cape Snook, long serpentine-y kind of fish, very, very... They've, best way to describe, it's quite a tricky one to describe. They, they thin, elongated fish, um, a fairly darky, charcoal grey kind of colour. Um, very, very pronounced teeth. They've got giant bloody teeth for their size. Um, and there will probably be a few guys in the Cape that will get a little bit of a thrill out of this because they've been bitten by a snook before. Your average sort of length, they get to about just over a meter, meter, meter two thereabouts. Um, and they mature at about 60 centimeters. They are, as I mentioned, an endemic species. You're getting them only really down in the Cape. Um, you're not going to get them up here in KZN. They are a shoaling species, which means they like to group together. They're very social, they don't like sitting there by themselves. Um, and that's why they're so commercially valuable. They, because you can actually target them in, in mass. So down the Cape, there's a giant commercial fleet for these guys. Um, they're all caught on hand lines, so using thick, thick line. Um, you can do it as a recreational as well with the hand line. Just use a dolly, hand line. Thing. Um, often just use quite a big hook. They do have sharp teeth, but generally the guys don't use wire. They use the thicker line, sort of, they're not gonna bite you off. It's more for grasping prey. Um, then they used to use shark skin, actually on the inside of the, the commercial guys. Then some of them still do on the inside of the armpit, because when you pull that snook up, you're gonna put him under your arm like that and break his neck straight away. That obviously helps it's of flapping around with those sharp teeth, biting everything. Um, also, it preserves the meat quality in their opinion. Uh, it's similar to bleeding a tuna, it gets that, um, that ammonia out. Side note, uh, you're going to find them sort of offshore waters down to, they recorded, they've been recorded down to about 550 meters, which is hellishly deep. Um, and, um, but you're getting them more sort of in that 20 meter down to about 100 thereabouts. It's, your, your snook captains are, are really the ones to ask about this. They, you'll see the fleets out in certain areas. If you are going to recreationally target them, don't. The commercial guys are there earning a living, so don't now go and fish on top of them. But there's no reason you can't fish to, near to them. Um, so everyone see, do what you want. Uh, targeting wise, uh, you're going to be early morning, late afternoon. Uh, the snook don't really like the bright sunshine, so they're going to be low down in the water in the um, in the daytime, and then they're going to come up in the the, the the dark hours, so sort of at dawn and dusk to come and feed. Food-wise, um, squid and your bait fish are going to be your main the main things they're going to be eating. So when it comes to targeting them, I'd say 90% of your your fish you should be targeting them on either lures, apologies not 90%, either lures so you can use your spoons or your, your jigs and stuff like that to drop down and pull up quickly. Alternately you can use chunk baits and things like that. Uh, longer strips with a bit of flash on it are going to be going to be better than a, a smaller piece. But obviously the guys chum the water, get the fish into there and then catch them as they come up with the chum slick. So yeah, the snook. Um, Careful of their teeth, they can cause quite a lot of damage with that. So if you do catch them, once you've landed them, dispatch them as best possible. So you can either put a knife into the brain, or you can do, you can break the neck like the commercial guys do. Good job. The Cape Snook, lovely species, very nice to eat, nice to do on the braai. Um, if you know how to cook it, look up Jan Braai. Uh, brilliant recipe on there. And yeah. A lovely fish, commercially important and endemic. So let's look after it. Cheers.